Hi, are you ready to see some interesting but at the same time disgusting or uncanny things? Our list has 25 items with a wide selection from animals to shoes. This person's significant other has a collection of her daily contacts. She chooses to stack them behind the headboard of their bed. Such an interesting exhibition. I wonder what would have happened if they hadn't pulled the bed away for cleaning. Speaking of eyesight, here is a deep dark wood. It looks like a place from a fairy tale or uh, a horror story. But visit Ben Lamond in New Zealand or Black Forest region in Germany. And you'll see these enchanted looking woods. If you're into camping, you might have noticed by now that insects love to accompany you. In this picture, we see insects enjoying their life with campers. Luckily, there are ways to protect yourself from them. I'm talking about bug sprays or creams. Alternatively, you can make your own homemade essential oil repellent. Um, excuse me, what are these glowing things? They're the eyes of alligators. Dozens of alligators hang out in Florida swamps, their eyes glowing. The photographers got some help from their camera flash to better capture this effect. The animal's eyes look this way because they have a reflector system. You might be familiar with this look if you have a cat. See you later, alligator. Thunderstorms can be scary, especially if you see this in the sky. You're looking at a rarely seen phenomenon. It's a red space lightning also called a sprite. To me, it looks like a jellyfish. When it comes to things people see in the sky, there are many hoaxes and legends. But this type of phenomenon is real. It's been confirmed by experts. What's that black circle in the picture? Has someone photoshopped it? Nope. Scientists have found a way to open a portal to another dimension. Okay, maybe not that. It's an object painted with Vanta Black. In all seriousness, it's the darkest material known to science by now. This material was invented in 2014. It's the blackest shade of dark because it can absorb 99.96% of ultraviolet, visible, and infrared light. They've even produced a spray form of this substance. This material kind of plays with our perception of perspective. Three-dimensional objects appear to be two-dimensional. If you were given this material to paint one object, what would you pick? Let me show you human skin boots that are worth thousands of dollars. This customized footwear is designed to look like human legs and feet. They're made out of silicone. Let's travel in time a bit to see the world's oldest surviving diving suit from the 18th century. It now has the potential to be the monster in the closet. Raccoons like cat food. And here's some proof. I know you're hungry too, buddy, but your tiny hands look scary from this point of view, my friend. No, I'm taking it back. Your hands look cute, dear raccoon, compared to this person's kitchen. The idea is super cool and understandable. The well dates back to the mid 1700s, but I grew up watching the Ring movies. I'll pass on this one. Is it a Halloween special or does this person use this car at all the seasons of the year? It's a side view mirror with a twist. Aha, just in time. I'm planning to renovate my home. And this idea can come in handy. This is actually a flat hallway. Is this the World Wide Web? A person saw a giant spider web at work today. All these things on the internet make me wonder why so many people are delighted by mildly disgusting things. Science has the answer to this question. It's all related to how the emotion of disgust fundamentally works. Disgust is an emotion of avoidance. It works as a signal that something might be harmful to your body, so you should avoid it. Scientists believe that this feeling was originally formed by food. Charles Darwin, for example, claimed that the unusual appearance and odors of food triggered the feeling. It had a regulatory function as the gatekeeper emotion, the exclusionary emotion. Then, what's the allure of disgust? Let's ask psychological researchers. They believe that disgusting stimuli both catch and keep your attention. That's why even though disgust is perceived as an unpleasant feeling, the emotion has evolved to simultaneously get people's attention. 
Sometimes, weird things don't just capture your attention. You can even enjoy them along with many other people. ASMR videos are very pleasant and relaxing. Lots of people don't find them repulsive. On the contrary, they feel calm and euphoric. Here's a close-up of an ant. There's more than 12,000 ant species in the world. I wonder whether all of them look like this one up close. Ants seem so harmless and friendly when they sneak into our picnic basket. Turns out some of them can fly, and some aren't as tiny as regular ants. Since we're talking about animals, this is the mouth of a leatherback sea turtle. It's the largest living turtle. Plus, these turtles keep the record of being the heaviest non-crocodilian reptile. They grow up to 5 feet 11 inches long and weigh 1,100 pounds. If you see one, you can easily recognize it since they lack a bony shell compared to other modern sea turtles. I know it looks like a person wearing a costume, but this is a harpy eagle. Now, do you want to see a Spanish dancer? Oh no, we don't have a flamenco type of vibe here. It's an animal. This fella is a sea slug. It has a scientific name, but it's hard to spell, so people nicknamed it this way. You might see a strong resemblance to a dancer's skirt. It's time to see some weird food. This is a lemon just going about its daily business, getting rotten. Let's visit the world of mold for a while. Mold spores are like tiny ninjas that can infiltrate your food. They're everywhere, and they love to set up camp on your bread, meat, and fruit. They create fuzzy little blotches that can make you ill. You should watch out for the ones that produce toxins. Luckily, not all molds are bad. Some of them, like the ones that make blue cheese, are delicious and healthy. What does mold need to form? Water, food, suitable air quality, and the perfect temperature. Then mold can grow on pretty much any food. Lastly, if you do spot mold on your food, don't just cut off the icky part and assume the rest is safe to eat. Mold can penetrate deep into your food. It's probably best just to toss that moldy food away and not risk it if you're not sure if it's safe to eat or not. I don't know what to say. It was cream cheese in another life. Oh look, a baby seal. Or mold. This person was doing research on molds. They leave us with Aspergillus flavus, which chooses to live peacefully. Can we stop for a moment and talk about why they let it continue? Now, I wonder how tall a plant growing out of a carpet can get. Here's another one. Do you want to see cat vomit that was left to mature for a few days? Ew, but wow, at the same time, they found mushrooms growing on blankets while cleaning a family's house. The feeling of disgust appeared a long time ago. Shakespeare's tragedy Titus Andronicus was similar to our present-day slasher movies. People loved it back then, too. Similar to why most spectators love Tarantino. Is it just me, or is this strawberry shaped like an animal? It even has a mark for an eye. I hope you were drawn to things that should, by all rights, compel or frighten you. Now, there are things about nature that you know for sure. Or don't you? Let's check how much you know about the incredible world we live in. How many of the 14 points will you guess? Let us know! The Great Pyramid of Giza was built when mammoths still roamed the Earth. Myth or fact? It's actually a fact. The most famous pyramid in the world had been constructed about 500 years before woolly mammoths went extinct, approximately 4,000 years ago. Their last known habitat was the cold and deserted Wrangell Island in the Arctic Sea, which might not have been as cold then as it is today. There are more trees on Earth than stars in the Milky Way. Is it myth or fact? It's a fact. Scientists used to believe there were about 4 billion trees on our planet, but more recent studies have shown that there are over 3 trillion of them, making it 420 trees per person. As for the stars in our galaxy, there are only about 100 billion, which is 30 times fewer than the trees on Earth alone. 
The trees you see are all individual ones. Myth or fact? This is false, in fact. 90% of the trees on Earth are interconnected by mycelium filaments. They send warning signals when in danger and exchange nutrients through them. It's kind of like the underground internet. Also, there are organisms like Pando, for example, which is the largest single living being on the planet. It looks like a dense forest of quaking aspens. In fact, it's basically a single giant tree, with its roots being interconnected underground. We drink the same water dinosaurs used to drink hundreds of millions of years ago. Myth or fact? Actually, it is. Only a small portion of the water on our planet has evaporated for good. The rest of it is constantly renewed. So, mammoths, dinosaurs, and whatever came before them billions of years ago drank and swam in the same water we see today. Not to mention what else they did in the water. Unfortunately, the water doesn't keep information about those ancient creatures for us to find out more about them. Lightning never strikes the same place twice. Are you willing to bet on that? Myth or fact? If you aren't, good for you. Lightning may strike the very same spot as many times as it wants. It might seem random, but the electrical discharge from the sky is pulled toward the tallest objects in the thunderstorm area. Also, the material this object is made of matters too. It's by no chance that lightning rods on buildings are mostly made of copper and aluminum alloys. These metals are some of the most conductive materials, so they pull lightning very efficiently. All deserts are hot. Now this one's easy, right? Myth or fact? If you guess it's a myth, then right you are. Deserts are qualified not for their temperature, but for the presence or absence of growth and life in them. The most well-known desert is the Sahara, of course, and it is indeed very hot. The actual largest desert in the world is Antarctica, which is almost twice the size of the Sahara Desert. And you wouldn't call it even lukewarm. It's a polar desert, and there are several others on our planet. For example, Greenland. There's enough gold underground to cover the entire planet in a thick layer. Would you believe that? Well, you should, because it's true. Since 1950, humanity has mined nearly 200,000 tons of gold. If we made a cube out of all this metal, it would be 70 feet high and wide. Recent data from scientists confirm that there are huge reserves of gold in the Earth's core. The metal is enough to cover the whole planet, and people might have gold up to their knees. The problem is, we just can't mine it from there. Hey, I don't mine if you don't. The Moon and Mars are better mapped than the Earth's oceans. Now, this can't be true, can it? Actually, it can. We have a detailed map of the Moon and Mars, although we're still discovering surprises on their surfaces granted. Still, over 80% of the Earth's oceans are unmapped and unexplored. We can't study the oceans properly because of pressure, cold, and lack of light underneath billions of tons of water. The lava is always red. What other color can it be, right? Myth or fact? Myth. Usually lava is really red or orange because it's basically molten rock from the deep bowels of our planet. But there's one volcano in Indonesia whose lava is blue and luminescent. Only at night, though. During the day, it looks normal. No mystery about it, just tons of sulfuric gas. This volcano also has the largest acidic crater lake in the world. The water there is so turquoise, you want to jump in immediately. But you probably guessed you should never do that. The fire on that volcano is also blue, the largest blue fire in the world, rising up to 16 feet high. Ever seen a gas stove burning? 
Here, the principle is basically the same. You can see a rainbow at night, too. Is it myth or a fact? It's true. And there's even a name for this phenomenon, a moonbow. Also called a lunar rainbow, this event occurs extremely rarely. It's similar to a regular rainbow, except when it appears on a clear moony night after a rain shower. There's a thing called a fire rainbow, myth or fact. You bet! It's a beautiful phenomenon when the clouds in the sky are painted all the colors of the rainbow, looking like a fiery, multicolored cascade. It only occurs when the conditions are right, and those are very specific. It's close to the equator, the weather is clear, there are feather-like clouds in the sky, the sun is higher than 58 degrees above the horizon. Such clouds are made of ice crystals. When the sun's rays hit them, the particles refract the light and create a rainbow. Wow! There are rainbow trees, myth or fact. If I made you doubt this, I'm glad, because this one is not Photoshop. This is the rainbow eucalyptus, and their bark may literally have all the rainbow colors. These eucalyptuses shed their bark at different times each year. Every time the old section goes off, the tree first reveals bright green bark that was hiding underneath. And then it may turn any color. There's a whole set of hues. Orange, maroon, blue, even purple. Stones can move on their own. Myth or fact? Well, you'd be right to believe me. There's a desert plain in California where rocks move around of their own will. Once this plain used to be the bottom of a lake, but then it dried out and became an arid wasteland. Sometimes, rains fall here, flooding the entire valley. When night comes, the temperature drops and the water is covered with a thin layer of ice. When it gets warmer again, the ice breaks into segments and the wind pushes them around the place. Some of these ice shards take small rocks with them. When the ice melts for good and the water evaporates, the only thing that remains are trails left by the rocks, as if they'd moved on their own. Mud puddles can move around. Myth or fact? In fact, a single mud puddle in the world also travels as it wants, and nobody still knows why. It moves at a pace of about 20 feet per year, and it seems to have started its journey near the San Andreas Fault in California. People have tried to stop its march, but couldn't. So far, this creeping natural disaster isn't showing any signs of stopping on its own, either. So, there's your pesky, problematic puddle to ponder. It's always drawn and shown this way, but our sun isn't yellow, orange, or even red. It's a mixture of all the colors together. If we could look at it, it would appear white. Unlike humans, cats don't have the same amount of toes on their front and back paws. They usually have five toes on their front paws, but only four on their back ones. If you've got a feline companion, go and take a look. Ever wondered what that tiny pocket in your jeans is for? It's a watch pocket and was originally intended as a place to store pocket watches. It dates back to 1879 to the first pair of Levi's jeans. Your brain uses different hemispheres to store different memories. Emperor penguins form large huddles. To share warmth and provide protection, they form a huddle that's constantly moving. This way, any of them can get a turn in the middle. Clouds look white because they're reflecting sunlight off the water droplets. When they're thin, a large portion of the light passes through, making the cloud appear white. As the amount of water increases, so does the thickness. We see it as gray. A margarita pizza has tomato, mozzarella, and basil on top to represent the colors of the Italian national flag. A delicious random fact. Ever sneezed because of a cat? Pets can be allergic to humans too because of cells shedding from our skin and hair, though it's rare. Also, it might be because of the smells we cover ourselves in every day, like deodorants and perfumes. 
Polar bear fur isn't white at all. It's transparent and hollow, and their skin is black. Their coat camouflages so well that it can sometimes pass as a snowdrift or snow dune in Arctic environments. General Sherman is the world's largest tree. Located in California, the giant sequoia is over 2,000 years old and is taller than the Statue of Liberty. Humans seem to be the only animals who really get a kick out of eating spicy food. Sure, there are benefits from eating the chilies themselves, like antioxidants, faster metabolism, and vitamin C. But we can get all that from other vegetables. There doesn't seem to be any reason to put ourselves through those hot peppers. When you eat enough carrots, your skin could turn orange. Carrots are packed with beta-carotene, a natural orange pigment. Too much of this pigment can change how you look a bit, especially in body areas with thicker skin, like your palms, soles, knees, and elbows. The ocean is blue because water absorbs the majority of red colors in the light spectrum, so there are only all the shades of blue left for us to see. The first trailer in a movie theater was shown in 1912, but for a Broadway show, not a movie. The trailers were originally played after the movie because they trailed it. Eventually, they started appearing at the beginning as viewers would instantly leave the theater once the movie had finished. There are six Mars exploration missions on or around the Red Planet at the moment. Does it mean that Mars is inhabited by robots? The little green men aren't saying. If the sun was the size of a front door, our planet would be the size of a nickel. In other words, the Sun could fit more than 1 million Earths. Jupiter's moon Io is 4.5 billion years old, almost as old as the planet itself. It's one of the very few bodies in the solar system with active volcanoes, and these volcanoes are powerful enough to produce spectacular views that are later captured by Earth's telescopes. By the way, Io is named after the legendary maiden who is loved by the Greek god Zeus. In the myth, Zeus turned her into a heifer in an attempt to hide her from his jealous wife, Hera. Wow, so the cow did jump over the moon. Oh, I think we could use some more cowbell. Okay, enough with the cows. Space isn't supposed to be black. There are stars everywhere. Shouldn't they light up everything around? You don't see stars wherever you look because some of them haven't existed long enough for their light to reach Earth. Saturn isn't the only planet that has rings. Gas giants Uranus, Neptune, and Jupiter have rings of their own, but they're thin and almost impossible to see. NASA can convert plasma waves, radio waves, and magnetic fields into audio tracks and listen to what's happening in space. They record all kinds of intriguing sounds, from beeps to ambulance-like howls. At the same time, space itself is an eerily silent place. There are some sound waves and vibrations, but people can't perceive them. Oceans cover 70% of the Earth. On average, the ocean is eight Empire State Buildings deep, and less than 5% of its mysterious depths have been explored. It's even possible to find lakes and rivers beneath the ocean. They are denser than the rest of the water surrounding them, so you can clearly see the difference. When sharks need their morning joe, they go to a cafe too. Back in 2002, researchers found an area in the Pacific Ocean called the White Shark Cafe where great white sharks come during the winter. They simply hang out, tell jokes, and laugh at stories of how many humans they've scared, and then go back to the coast to scare us a little bit more when the weather gets warmer. Have you had a great white latte? Try one. You can taste garlic with your feet. Rub a clove right in your feet. Of course, take the socks off beforehand and wait for it. The chemical responsible for its unique smell can be absorbed through the skin, even though the clove never was in your mouth. By the way, lobsters can try out the same experiment. Well, they actually taste food with their feet. In Tibet, there are black diamond apples that aren't green or red, but dark purple. The place where they grow has plenty of ultraviolet light over the day, while temperatures drastically go down during the night, which makes the apple skin get a darker color. Australia has a lake of a naturally bubblegum pink color. The unusual color is there because of the pigment from a certain type of algae living there. There is a specific type of jellyfish that's actually immortal. Hey, I could see that as a logo for a life insurance company. The Earth is orbiting the Sun, but not at a fixed speed. We don't sense it, but it's slowing as time goes by, so our day will become 25 hours long. 
in around 175 million years. So don't plan that extra hour in your schedule just yet. Space is huge, duh, but there's obviously lots of empty spots since there are more trees, 3 trillion, on our planet than stars in the Milky Way, only about 300 to 400 billion stars. Ostriches don't actually hide their heads in the sand. When they sense danger, they lower down their head, neck, and body to the ground, which makes them a little bit less visible to predators. Their light-colored necks blend in with the sand, so it only looks like their head is hidden down there. On Earth, people are used to a beautiful sunset that's painted in hues of orange, red, and yellow. On Mars, however, the normally pinkish-red sky turns blue as the sun goes down under the horizon. It's because Mars is much further away from the sun than Earth, making the sunlight less intense. The fine dust in the Martian atmosphere absorbs the blue light and gets rid of the warmer colors that you typically see on Earth. Whether it's blue or yellow, both sunsets look spectacular. On Earth, sound waves make air molecules vibrate, which is why we're able to hear sound. Other planets and moons allow sound to travel through mediums like their atmospheres, and oceans too. In space, though, it's said that there is no sound, since there aren't any molecules to vibrate and deliver sound waves. However, not all researchers agree on this, given that space isn't just a desolate vacuum. In between the emptiness, there are clouds of gas and other stray particles. So, depending on where you are, sound waves can be possible. Humans have been exploring space for over 60 years, and the effort has certainly paid off. All the planets in our solar system have now been explored, even the dwarf planets of Pluto and Ceres. Most of the exploration was done by NASA's Voyager program, which began in 1977. Voyager 1 and 2 collected information on the planets, their moons, and their unique system of rings and magnetic fields. These twin spacecraft continue to send data back to Earth, and Voyager 1 is currently in interstellar space. In 2011, astronomers discovered an enormous water reservoir simply floating in space around a supermassive black hole called a quasar. Floating water vapors have been found throughout the universe, but they aren't that common. This particular reservoir holds around 140 trillion times the amount of water in the Earth's oceans. This one is the oldest, largest, and at more than 12 billion light-years away, it's the farthest known to humankind.